Okay guys, today we're going to plunge into a riveting discussion on whether you can hear the black silence in the midst of a mischievous act. Brace yourself for some intense Library of Runa spoilers. Now for those unaware, the dynamic figure known as the Black Silence, or Roland, was a seasoned fixer known for donning sleek black gloves. These gloves, true to their name, possess the uncanny ability to shroud their wearer in silence, muting all surrounding sounds, except for the resonant swish of the weapon they wield. Sing, sing, sing. Now the real conundrum is whether this unique trait applies when Roland engages in certain, shall we say, personal endeavors. You see, many individuals often metaphorically refer to their beepus as a formidable tool, akin to a short sword. However, would the same traits apply to this weapon? Well, no. While Roland's hand may indeed transverse through the air, the weapon itself does not. Hold on though, let's twist the scenario a bit, shall we? What if Roland were to partake in said activities with another person? Could the rhythmic motion of their hips pounding against Roland's hand provide the necessary momentum? The answer remains the same, no. The dynamic movement from Roland's partner would impede his ability to firmly grasp the weapon, rendering it ineffective. Now you might be wondering, why wear the gloves at all then? Remember, those gloves possess an additional function that allows the user to store their weapons within. With this nifty feature, one can conveniently dispose of their seed of light inside of the cloth. Some might even call it the Krumer Glove. But here's the kicker, even with the Krumer Glove, the spillage is inevitable. Why is that significant, you ask? Well, buckle up, where the library itself is revealed to be Angela's ego. Therefore, Roland just croomed inside of Angela. Remember, Angela is an entity gradually evolving from a mere machine into a human as the story unfolds. Knowing this, the three distinct endings of the game take on an entirely new significance. In Roland's unfortunate ending, he neglects his responsibility to provide child support, severing Angela in his desire for financial freedom. In Angela's bleak ending, she realizes Roland lacks the means to support their child. She takes a gamble, hoping his life insurance payout might compensate. However, she lacks the knowledge that the funeral costs will eat up whatever cash is paid out to her. Sure is expensive to die, but the true ending, my friends, unfolds when both parties find common ground and choose to raise the child together, forging a compromise amidst their complex circumstances. In this ending, an anonymous tipster informs Child Protection Services of the situation. Zena, Luda, and Baral storm the library, utterly appalled at the notion of a machine nurturing a child. Thankfully, a former agent of the CPS steps forward to vouch for them, resulting in only a stern warning. To summarize, should you find yourself in a position of releasing your seed of light within another, whether it be a robot, a grandma past menopause, or a fumo, exercise caution and wear proper protection. Stay safe out there, folks.